Hi, I wanted to give you a heads up about a pretty major overhaul we've got coming to the scenario analysis screen. I'm recording this in early August, and I would say probably by the end of the month, by the end of August, this is what everyone's going to be on. So if you'd like to opt in right now to take a look at it and get to know it, that option is available to you. Or if you want to wait, that's fine. But let me just show you what's new about it. First of all, it looks different. It uh, maybe is a little less embarrassing to put in front of your clients in a meeting. Um, it's just a more compact, tighter uh, look to all the information. One major new thing is, check this out, I can actually go beyond just four columns. In fact, it'll let you add as many columns as will fit on your screen. So if you zoom out or if you got a super wide monitor, you can fit as many columns on here as you want. Uh, if you want to reorder them, it's a pretty easy process. You can just kind of drag and drop to reorder. So that's the deal there. Um, and if you'd like to just swap two columns, that there's a way to do that quickly. See, I just flipped B and C right there. Another thing that is new is uh, a comparison field. So let me just change something here. Let's change taxable interest from 5,000 to 30,000. So if I want to say like what, what changed about these two that are side by side, or I did a Roth conversion or something like that, there's this little delta button, and that'll pop open this thing in the middle, and it'll say, okay, the difference on this field was $25,000. It increased by $25,000. And then presumably, if I scroll down to the tax, it'll say, yeah, it's a difference of $3,000 in total tax. So that's new. That's a little... Um, delta or, or what's, the, what's the difference between the two fields. Um, everything else you're used to is still there, just maybe in different places. So the scenario bank still exists. You can still kind of click to kind of navigate quickly through the screen. Um, range calc is a little bit more hidden away. We're not really sure this is where it'll end up, but you see these little three dots. Range calc is still there. Uh, like I said, a little hidden away, more so than we might like. So we might kind of change the ability to, to find range calc on that. We want it to, make, to be super intuitive to people who are new to the system. Um, what I think is great about what we're doing here, though, is not just like what you see now, the refresh look and some of these new functions, but also underneath, it, it, this gives us a platform to do, I think, some really interesting things with this screen in general. So this isn't going to be in this go live or even in the next month or two, but our, our vision for where to take this screen next is um, one example would be like an easy mode and a hard mode. So like if you've got a client who's a retiree and they've got RMDs and Social Security and that's about it, and you're just trying to show them qualified charitable distributions versus not, you don't need all the extra stuff around AMT and foreign earned income exclusions and all that stuff. So could we have an easy mode where it's just like a limited number of fields for that type of planning? And then a hard mode for when you're trying to go into more detail on things. I think also uh, what I would like to see and what the guts of this new screen allows us to do down the road is create a way to guide you through the process. So let's say you have that client with self-employment income. Um, right now, we try to guide you to like, okay, here's the fields you got to think about for uh, the QBI deduction, and here's the fields you need to think about for self-employment tax, but we still put a lot on you to understand and to know what's behind a lot of those fields. I would love a kind of guide me option that'll say, okay, I noticed that you put in some self-employment income. Let's look at the QBI fields, and let's explain what these things mean as you change them. So kind of like a... a kind of click through the steps sort of experience. Again, that's not there now, but one of our visions behind rebuilding not only the look of this, but also the guts underneath of the scenario analysis screen is to build up some of that, those abilities to make it a little more user friendly and allow advisors of all stripes, advanced, beginner, all, everything in the middle, to have a screen that, that, that meets their needs and makes it at least intuitive for them to do their jobs. So please take a look. Um, you can opt in right now to, to use it, to get, get used to it. And then while we're still kind of ironing out the final kinks, you can, yes, go back to version one if you want. But eventually, I think relatively soon, this will be the version that everybody will be on. It's just easier on us. It's only one version to maintain instead of two in parallel. 
So keep an eye out for that. We'd love to get your feedback on what's working for you, what's not. It allows us to really try to improve things quickly and tighten up that feedback loop. So please take a look, let us know. And uh, you know, thank you to everyone who's endured our old version of the scenario analysis screen. It's really one of the oldest screens left in our system. So it was overdue for a refresh and I'm really proud of the work the team has done to improve it.